And one thing I like to tell the women, just because you learn this art, don't think you want to go stand there and go toe to toe. I mean, you can be good, you can be strong. Don't go toe to toe with men. Practice, practice with intent. Don't practice, okay, let me go one here, one there, one there. And you're not moving, you're not moving feet. Get in your foundation, always. When you're practicing, get in your foundation. The minute he moves, boom, I'm moving. And if you have a knife, one thing women have is the uh, element of surprise. So if you carry, I like to carry a small one, and then I put a bigger one in my purse. If you carry a small knife, and you get the, ah, as they're approaching, and then as they come in and grab, you're cutting, you're cutting, you're raking. As you get older, that's what's beautiful about this art. Once you have it embedded, the movement, the flow, the energy, it takes care of your, your distance, your timing, and your rhythm. Hey, what's up everybody? Sifu Singh here with Guru Tanya Subing Subing Monroe. We're out here in Kahana Bay on Oahu uh, during Legacy 7 by Masters Magazine and also the Buddha Brothers are out here doing the, some filming as well. And what I wanted to do was pull out Guru Tanya. She is one of the original backyard students of Guru Dan and Asano. Not only that, she's the first full instructor at Jeet Do and Kali, female instructor in the world. Not only that, you also had a chance growing up to train directly with Angel Cabalas, uh, Leo Hiron, um, Johnny Lacoste, and, he, and who else? Ben Lagusa. And Lucky Lukai Lukai, that's, that's, that is the name of all the history books. So she's one of the original pioneers, but we wanted to take a moment for her to share some of her wisdom with regards to training that can help us all and inspire us uh, to find that martial artist and the warrior within. So Guru Tanya, please spread, give us a little bit of your wisdom. Okay, I think uh, throughout the years and everything that I have learned from all the old masters, one of the biggest uh, tributes they gave me was how the Filipino martial arts is totally encompassed. Uh, there's no thought process once you have your basics, once you have your techniques, there's no thought process, it just becomes an automatic movement. And for the women out there, it is one of the best. I've trained in other arts and it is one of the best, I feel, for women. You can use anything as a weapon, down to empty hand, and the knife becomes very, very, <sighs> inspiring, because it becomes such a natural move. You know it's deadly, but if you learn how to use it correctly, it becomes a natural movement with women because it has such a, a an easy flow and for women it's a soft touch as opposed to other martial arts which is a little harder um, so for the average woman or the not so strong woman this becomes your equalizer and you can learn from the the knife to use any weapon whether it's your brush your pen your purse anything so I, that's what uh, gave me the love of this art I want to show uh, just a little bit of how the knife can be used for women. Oh, sorry. Um, you could either, you could stick them in your bra. Um, you have a man coming at you, and if you have a knife, one thing women have is the uh, element of surprise. So if you carry, I like to carry a small one, and then I put a bigger one in my purse. If you carry a small knife, and you get the, ah, as they're approaching, and then as they come in and grab, ah. you're cutting, you're cutting, you're raking, you're cutting again, you're cutting. Then you get them to the ground, do whatever you're gonna do here, slice and dice, and then you can get away. If you did your, your work correctly, then they're not gonna come after you. You have time to get away. But in the moment, you can use this weapon or whatever you have in your hand many different ways. A lot of men teach women like to take their keys, stick it in their, their hands and do this. 
I don't teach that for women because women have weak wrists. And that's why they say when you throw a baseball, don't throw it like a girl. Because that's natural for a girl, because the, the wrists are weak. So I teach all my girls to either hold it this way, this way, so you're going to rake, you're going to and stab, and rake, and stab, and thrust, as opposed to try to punch you. The other aspect of it is open hand for women. I love teaching the open hand. So just like a jab, you teach them open hand. Nose pressure, ear pressure, throat, whatever. And then you can twist, rake, pull down, whatever you want. But it all stems off of the, off of the hand. Whether I'm gonna go inside here, block here, cut, cut, take out the armpit, now you're cutting into major arteries, heart, gut, kidney. Then you're gonna to go to the groin, if possible. All of the major uh, tendons and arteries. In close for women, because that's where you're gonna be. When you're attacked, they're gonna get you close. So you wanna make sure you can get all these things. And it works perfect for women. Um, and one thing I like to tell the women, just because you learn this art, don't think you want to go stand there and go toe to toe. I mean, you can be good, you can be strong, don't go toe to toe with men. Do your thing as much as you can, as best as you can, and get out, okay? Um, I just want to say, throughout all of my studies with all the masters, they were so humble, but when they touch you, you knew they were deadly. You could just feel the intent of their energy. Um, so I, I, you can ask anybody, I always promote, when you practice, practice with intent. Don't practice, okay, let me go one here, one there, one there. And you're not moving, you're not moving the feet. Get in your foundation, always. When you're practicing, get in your foundation. The minute he moves, boom, I'm moving. I'm moving. That's just practicing. When you're on your own, do the same thing, shadow boxing. The same thing is when you're shadow boxing. You're imagining those hits coming towards you. Same thing with the Kali. It's everything, all the Filipino Marat. You're imagining that knife coming in. Boom. When you do the gunting, practice with intent. So you want that become your natural habit. And like I explained to Sifu Singh, as you get older, that's what's beautiful about this art. Once you have it embedded, the movement, the flow, the energy, it takes care of your, your distance, your timing and your rhythm and how to close the gaps. It, it's encompassed in the circle of, of your different windows opens the doors, shows shut the doors. You kind of control where you want to hit next from where you end up. So it's just one continuous flow. I love it. We love you. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I watch all the younger people and I'm lived through them. <laughs> it's so exciting to watch them spread this and get more people to understand the meaning of the, the martial arts, the Filipino martial arts, and the structure, it's just all one. And which comes also to my other background is the Jeet Kune Do. Now I understand what Bruce tried to come across with up about everything works for you in that moment. So nothing at any time is useless it might be the oddest punch or the oddest kick or but if it works at that time that's cheap and dope and it's all individualized and that's what i feel with the filipino martial arts it's all encompassed yeah so i thank god i love it oh, you're the best <laughs> you're the best pros of wisdom folks listen to it study it be your best self